So, got the car pretty much ready to go. Um, having a couple issues. When it's been cold out, like say 40 degrees or below, somewhere around in there, transmission's been making a strange noise. Um, it's always made a little bit like a pump line, but this is a little bit different. Kind of sounds like an old starter rolling over, kind of. But then it also has an issue where the lockup wants to start grabbing in first gear, which it shouldn't do ever. So there may be a few issues. Um, changing out the torque converter. Uh, I need to do that anyway. The one in here is not rated for what I'm doing. Um, and also I'm going to change out the pump because doing some research, um, there are some pump veins that are really close together that if they leak, it can bleed over into the lockup circuit or it can be causing the, uh, the lockup fluid not to be able to be exhausted the way it's supposed to be or at a slower rate, which can cause hang up issues is how I understand it. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the transmission, have it looked at, make sure everything's good, put a new pump in it, and then put a new torque converter in it, and uh, see how that uh, that works. So I'm going to crank it up. You might be able to hear the noise. Hopefully not. I did pull some fluid out of it because I was thinking because it was uh, you know, maybe a quart over full. I thought maybe the pump could be cavitating or something. So we'll see what that sounds like. So, 36 degrees, both of them confirm 36. So, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> the shop um, there's that little hiccup <clears throat> pulling out of the trailer and then driving down the road I had no overdrive it just wouldn't go into overdrive so I'm gonna check the linkage and make sure that in overdrive it's putting that little detent in the spot where it's supposed to be on the shift linkage um, go ahead and get this thing on the lift you kind of check it out and get ready to start pulling the transmission out all right got the transmission out uh went ahead and painted the covers and all there are a few issues um looks like you can see it on the torque converter but right here it looks like it's rubbing on the back of the snout of the torque converter so that could be uh something that's going on and it's loading this either the input shaft or it could be loading on the pump like pulling it down because the torque converter is not centered if that little snout's not in the uh, crank so i may need to see if i need to get a spacer that puts the will snout out a little farther or if that other torque converter has a longer snout that will actually ride in the pilot and keep the converter centered um, because there's a good bit of slop in the converter bolts so and it's the same deal as um, as the other engine so that noise that I'm hearing that knocking ticking it may very well be the snout just tapping somewhere along, you know, in here on the pilot. Because there's plenty of room for, you know, these bolts 
to move around and if that converter is not you know engaged all the way in there then there's definitely room for it to start uh, chattering so that could be what it is it would be nice if that's all it was and the other issue was the drive shaft was slamming into my little uh, hoop or drive shaft enclosure enclosure so I went ahead and cut a divot out so that the drive shaft can hang through without actually rubbing on the end um, did a little bit of painting on the underside um, I'm going to do some wiring it's really easy to get to the wiring without the transmission in there I've got my distribution uh, module that I need to pin a transmission pressure sensor and one other thing oh i'm going to try and do a speed sensor so say this i think it's the back one's the speed sensor so i need to see if i can find a fitting that'll go into here and then there's a um there's a setting in the holly software for uh speed frequency um so it's pretty much like a reluctor wheel inside of there so if i can get some sort of signal out of it then i can use it but um i don't know i haven't tried so we'll, we'll see because right now i don't have a speedometer i have to use my phone and like one of those gps apps it works it's not very accurate i guess as far as accelerating and decelerating but when you're cruising it kind of tells you you know you're right around 60 55 whatever it is <clears throat> So you're not like flying or not going like 35 down the highway or something. And then this port right here is where I'm just going to put a 500 PSI pressure transducer. So I can see um, what my pressure is actually at and confirm that there's no uh, line pressure issue. Um, parts show up. Tuesday, I think, is uh, when everything's going to show up and put a new pump in it. Uh, got a Circle D converter and going to have the transmission looked at and just make sure everything's good in there because there is there's some metal in the, um, in the fluid. It looks like brass and it's very, very fine, so it may just be that it's just loading up on the bushings in here. So we will see.